Minister of Information, Senator Patricia Akwashiki, claimed that what she said last week was that the process of preparing handover notes would be completed by May 28. Senator Akwashiki explained that President Gulag Jonathan will not hand over power until May 29. She clarified that the transition is ongoing, pointing out that the submission of handover notes to the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation is on course. At the dinner all over, it is just an inaugural dinner. And before that time, you don't expect us to carry our handover briefs to 29th of May. It's administrative. This is purely administrative that would start the handover brief has even started. It will end on the 28th. Please, the handover brief by ministries, by parastatal, by the transition committee is ongoing. It has already started, but will conclude by that May 28th. And 29th is the inaugural ceremony proper. When asked to disclose the reason behind the sacking of Mr. Suleiman Abba as the Inspector General of Police, the Information Minister said that she had no explanation to make because the President had the right to appoint and fire his appointees. It is the President, it is, it is within his power to appoint and within his power to sack. And he did what he had to do. The minister had last week said President Jonathan intended to have the former handing over done at a dinner on May 29 so that the administration can reserve May 29 for the incoming government. Meanwhile, Minister of Petroleum Dizani Alice Madweke has reacted to the $1.48 billion owed by NPDC for an oil block that had been assigned to it by NNPC. NPDC has actually apparently started those refunds and is also in discussions with NNPC and DPR on same. A forensic audit of NNPC account, among other recommendations, asked the NPDC to make refund of the money into the Federation account. William Siama, reporting.